Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online, or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. The majority of early 5G deployments have been based on non-standalone operation, which means that you don't need a 5G core network. However, long-term deployment based on 5G standalone operation does require the service provider to deploy a 5G core network. So that service provider needs a migration path. At the start of that migration path, we have the 4G Evolve Packet core. The next move would be to deploy CUPS. This is control and user plane separation of EPC nodes and coupled with that can be network virtualization so the two are not mutually exclusive. So if the service provider has taken steps to virtualize their core network they can then begin to deploy the 5G core network virtualized network functions. So just taking a look at that in more detail in a slower time. So we start with 4G EPC. So this is our traditional nodes like the mobility management entity, the serving gateway and the PDN gateway. These might be traditional hardware based platforms that we're actually dealing with in the EPC at this time. So the first step would be to deploy control and user plane separation of EPC nodes, largely centered around the S gateway and the P gateway. So you can see that they are separated into their control and user plane elements. And what this does is it gives the service provider greater deployment flexibility in terms of where their control versus user plane network functions are actually deployed. Now, as I mentioned, this can go hand in hand with network virtualization. So the service provider can deploy a virtualized infrastructure and have those control elements running as virtualized network functions on that infrastructure. Now, if they have deployed the NFE infrastructure, the next step with respect to the 5G core is to take those core network elements like the access and mobility management function, like the session management function and various other 5G core network elements and deploy them as virtualized network functions on the existing NFE infrastructure. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training. Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.